In this video, we are going to learn how to factor second degree trinomials using the sum product method. Remember, second degree means quadratic. So, we are going to factor quadratics, which has three terms in it. The second degree term, the first degree, and the number part or the constant part. So, we will have our expression like this. Or it can also be an equation. In that case, we will solve it. Anyways, we are factoring second degree trinomials using the sum product method. Now, there are two cases in this um, these type of problems. The first case is when the leading coefficient is 1 or a is equal to 1. So, let's try an example here. In example number 1, we have to factor x squared plus 7x plus 10. So, first step is to write down what is a, b, and c. Write down what's a, b, and c. So, from the question, if you compare, we know that a is the coefficient of the x squared term. So, here in the place of a, we do not have a number. That means it's just 1. We know that it's 1x squared. So, we have a as 1. And b is the coefficient of the x term along with the sign that's a positive 7 so we can just say 7 and c is your constant which is the last number um, and that is a positive 10 so we'll just leave it as a 10. So first step identify the a b and c. The second step to factor this there are only two steps so the second step is this you have to find two numbers you have to find two numbers such that they satisfy this condition. When you add them, or the sum of those numbers must be equal to the whatever comes out to be b, and the product of those numbers must be whatever comes out to be a times c. So b here, instead of b, we have to find two numbers that adds up to 7, and product must be ac, or 1 times 10. They have to multiply to 10. So find two numbers that adds up to 7, but multiplies to 10. So when we try to figure out numbers like these, some numbers are very easy to figure it out, but always start from the product side. See if you can factor 10. Um, you can write 10 as 1 times 10 and 2 times 5. There are only two possibilities to factor 10 here. Um, and you can of course change their signs if needed. But here, you know that the first pair, 1 and 10, when you add them, you get 11. When you subtract them, you get 9. There is no way that their sums can be um, 7. So this is not the pair. But the second one, 2 times 5 is 10 and 2 plus 5 is 7. So we know that this is the pair that satisfies our conditions. That their sum is 7 and their product is 10. Once we found the two numbers, we got our answer. So the fact, this is how you factor this trinomial. You will just take the two numbers that you found and write it with the variable in the equation. Since we are using x, we are going to put x here. So the two numbers that we found are positive 2 and the next factor will be x with the next number that you found which is positive 5 and you are done factoring. So this is how we factor using the sum product method case 1. Let's do one more example. So here another um, problem is here. So we have to identify a, b, and c first. So let's write what's our a, b, and c. So a is the coefficient of the second degree term, which is 1. b is the coefficient of the first degree term, which in this case is negative 1. And c is negative 6. So here we have to find two numbers whose sum is b and product is a times c. So instead of b, we have negative 1. Instead of a times c, we have 1 times negative 6, which is negative 6. So can we find two numbers that um, multiplies to negative 6 but adds up to negative 1? So remember the tips. Always start from the product side. Um, write down how many different ways you can factor 6. You can write 6 as 1 times 6 as well as 2 times 3. There are two different ways to factor it. And you have to see which of these pairs will give you negative 1 when you add them. When you add them together. Add or subtract them. You can, you can call these as negative 1 and negative 6 or you can change the signs here also. So for the product to be negative, one of these numbers have to be negative. So 
if I take the first pair and um, when I add them, I get 7. When I subtract, I get 5. There's no way I can get a 1. So this is not possible. That's not the pair that I need. But 2 and 3, uh, one of them have to be negative for the product to be negative. But if I, since when I add them, I have to get negative 1. The bigger number has to be negative and the other number has to be positive. So our numbers are negative 3 and positive 2. Once we get these numbers, our factors are x with the positive 2. That's the variable we are using in the question. And the other x, other factor is with the negative 3 because that's a negative number. So this is how we factor case 1. Um, when a is equal to 1, when the leading coefficient is 1, you find the sum and the product in such a way that the sum of the numbers is b and the product of the numbers is ac. As soon as you figure out those numbers, you have your factors and you're done factoring.